Greetings, friends. I want to talk to you about some insight that God gives us in his word, which we call the Bible. And in the Old Testament, in the book of Psalms, which is 150 different chapters, I want to take us to the first chapter and the first couple of verses, which speak profoundly into how we are to select those people we spend time with. We've got to make sure the people we spend time with are the right people with healthy motives, with your best interest in mind. And the psalmist begins in these words. Listen carefully. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked. Walk in step with the wicked. Wicked is evil. Wicked is not good. Wicked is not of God. And the psalmist says, be careful when you walk with these people. But then secondly, he says, uh, or stand in the way uh, that sinners take. You see, you're walking along and someone begins to say things in your understanding and listening that, that aren't healthy. As soon as you stop, as soon as you stand still, they've got you. They begin to sow more and more into you. And so my advice would be at this point, just say, you know what, I'm out of here. I've got other things to do. I'm not going to stand here and spend time with you. This is negative. This doesn't sound right because it probably isn't right. But then the psalmist goes on and makes this statement. Or sit in the company uh, of the mockers. Sit in the company of the mockers. So get the picture. You're walking along. Someone comes up to you, starts feeding something into your ear, hearing or that's not good. And then you stand and they feed more. And when you sit, now you're hooked. As soon as you sit down, they've got you. It's, it's almost too late. And so the psalmist is saying, look, before you get to that point where you sit down or stand, take off and keep going. Say, no, you know, I'm not interested. If you've ever been overseas and been to these markets and bazaars, you get people coming up all the time, right and left, trying to sell you something to make a deal with you. And the best antidote to that is to say, not interested. I'm out here, not interested, not interested. Because as soon as you stop, they've almost got you. All right, but look what the psalmist says. It goes on in verse two. But whose delight in the law, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his word. Who's he talking about? The person that doesn't stop and listen because he's spending his time with the Lord, with the Lord's word, gleaning from it the good and healthy stuff. Then he goes on to say, you're like a tree planted by the rivers who, whose roots grow down into the water and the water becomes refreshing and nourishing, and, and feed you. You see, that's what the Word of God, it's God's living water into your mind, into your heart, into your very being. And God's Word is good and gives positive direction. God is good and speaks positively into your life. God loves you, and God wants to, to bless you. So go back and read Psalm 1. Just look at it and, and take it to heart. What the psalmist is trying to say, pursue the Lord in his word and, word and let him speak into your life. But if someone comes up that wants to deviate you, don't give them the time of day. Move on and stay out of their, their, their reach, their grasp, or, or, or their information, which is not healthy. You know, this is a lesson we want all our kids to hear, but I think oftentimes it's a lesson we need to remind ourselves of that, look, with with our knowledge of God and his goodness and his will for us, we have to draw a line and not spend time with those negative people that want to pull us down and, and, uh, and drain us, you know, of, of the life-giving water that God wants to give us uh, through his word. Amen. Look, I hope this has been helpful. I just wanted to share these thoughts with you because I thought they may be beneficial to some of you. And if and if uh, you're on, on the right page with me, maybe it's something you could share with someone else that's seeking and searching and maybe spending time with the wrong people, hearing the wrong thing, which is not healthy for them. Look, if you want to comment, hit the comment button on Facebook or go to my website, paulteskyministries.com. Send me a prayer request. I'll answer them. I answer them every day. All right. And again, I'm doing this for you. And my YouTube page, Paul Teske Ministries, is chocker block with teachings and testimonies and, 
and, and, and conferences and other things that uh, will be beneficial if you want to spend some time. They're all categorized in, in a library and made available to anybody that wants to go uh, to my YouTube page. All right, so I hope this has been helpful. I want you to go in peace and serve the Lord. And all God's people said, amen.